Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to episode 10, I hope this is episode 10, of uh, Solo Queue to Ranked, to GM, Ranked Joust. Man, I always mess that up, don't I? Uh, we are Guan Yu today. A humble request from the one and only Maple Defense Twitch Primer on Twitch to get the request for the Guan Yu. Was originally going to be Kamazots, but unfortunately, we banned it. I was actually in the game with this guy on my team last game, and I was Kamazots. So maybe gave him a little bit of a reminder about uh, things to ban, maybe a little inspiration, perhaps. Uh, we got Kuzumbo through with some freakish bans coming out, and on her in the first round, getting taken out. Morgan Le Fay was banned as well, which was in our last video, so maybe Tromb is just uh, going for some diversity in the picks here. Wait, isn't the star sample smurf? <laughs> Hold up, I, I remember this name now. I'm on to him! Alright, well. We're Guan Yu. They picked a Persephone. We have really good matchups into Persephone, which is what we're mainly looking for. Ooh, Cerber is interesting. So Cerba, good matchup into Guan, right? But... Don't think Cerb's gonna be slowing down a Kuzinbo. Uh, Don't think he's gonna slow down a... Agni. I think Agni is a fine pick here. He has very solid um, safe matchups here. The only problem I'm having right now is our early clear is some doggy doo doo. Because we've got an Agni level 3 and a Guan level 3. Kuzumbo level 3 is very good. But he's going to have to expend 200% of his mana bar to clear that wave for us. So <laughs> This is going to be a very much tighten up and farm up and camp the tower line for a bit type of game while we uh, try to get our abilities leveled get the Agni bombs online get the clear rolling a bit if we're able to keep the score zero zero and trade at at minimum one blue buff to three buffs i think we're going to be looking fine because we just need to get to that point where agni has got bombs is comfortable clearing the wave it's going to be tough early for sure I think I'm gonna even upgrade my three a second time so I can offer a little bit more on the clear end of the spectrum here. Excellent. And I'm gonna be building damage first. I could go tainted steel, but I'm a big axe guy. Big on the axage. Uh, we'll go the sturdy steel. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go a bunch of pots, as many as I can afford. We'll be doing. Mm, maybe we don't do Jotun's vigor rush this game. I definitely want to go a damage item first, though, just like I said, to help us out the early. And a little bit of damage goes a long way on Guan Yu, so. I want to go blink. I really do. Thanks. Blink shell. Oh, I'm getting blink. You can get shell if you want, man. Honestly, maybe I don't need blink. Nah, we'll go blink. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe we just kill Persephone. Alright, he's got the sheller. I got the blinker. Really just want to secure the blue buff for now. I'm just going to go um, examine them at this red buff. I'm going to put some pressure on, perhaps. If I can steal it, I can steal it. If I don't, I don't. Not a big deal. Imagine a Guan steals this! <laughs> Usually it would be like the Kuzinbo who does that job, but this is fine too. I'm being like every Guan Yu player. I want to dash through them. Put out as much pressure, make sure this wave gets cleared. Dash through him. Ah, I'm gonna go this purple because our clear is god awful, so letting them clear the wave first is actually fine. This guy's coming. Okay, I got it. Nice. Letting them clear first is cool. They actually just went to their blue. Oh, I don't have my heal. <laughs> Awkward. So I'm fine with this. This is kind of uh, amazing for us, for the game to start this way. Because they have such an advantage early on, and they're not really using it. I don't want to chill, don't really want to use a pot. I'll just hang out until I can get my T2 here. Okay, so we got double thieves on the other team. So right when they finish that, I'm going to have Jotuns, basically. And that's going to feel really nice for me. You know, at least you can stop Surf Breath. All right, we'll pop the pots if we need to. 
But here we are, you know, a little bit out pressured because, you know, the whole wave situation. Not the worst. Not the best. It'll get better. In. Once level 5 rolls around, second round of buff spawn, it'll be a lot nicer for us. So, I'm just looking to Omega defend. If you go shell like ever, I'm a shell hater. Certified shell hater. Uh, very useful against auto attackers. So if the other team picks like Baka, the other team picks Mercury. Can be very useful. But other than that, like, or like an ADC that's really giving you a lot of trouble, you can get it. Other than that, no, not really. I tried to get a relic that I'll find will be more impactful offensively. But nothing wrong with Shell. Okay, Augie's level 5. This is incredible. Who's in level 5? Incredible! I can't finish Jotun's! Sucks! Buffs aren't up. I really want to just grab this, get out the base, get a wave, and get back again to get my Jotun's reset. If I can. I would love that. We'd very much enjoy it. The red's on those step. We can fight now. We are level 5 versus level 5s. We got T2s. We got T2s. We are happy to take fights now. They're a bit tankier, health-wise. But I also have no mana. Kind of sucks. Okay. Serve just jumped. Can we go on him? Okay, we are out of there. Omega gone! Okay, I might not get the Jotun's Vigor this game. Because they have the Serb. He's going to suck me the freak off. But that's okay. A little bit of extra power helped out. Did a lot of damage. My top damage. Dude, Augie's OP. What the flip? Okay. Give my AoE auto. I'll do that. Okay, I'll pick this up. I could have just gone straight to the purple and just let them do the red. Probably was a better option. Uh, hmm. He's just out of there. Okay. I can throw a board over the blue. <laughs> huh? Wait, what, what, what you hunting at this time? Oh, they are over there. Oh, yep, we had to just kill it ASAP. Okay, okay. You know, I'm getting the Jotun's Vigor. Screw it. I want the move speed. I need to zoom. Cerberus is kind of like an ideal god to go against Jotun's Vigor, though, huh? He's got the slow, huh? Interesting. He's got the slows. He's got the other stuff. The heal suck. Big one. I'm gonna need Pestilence this game. For sure. Do I get it? This item. I think I'm gonna go Arc Druids into Pestilence. Okay. Oh, this is awkward. Shard him. Oh my gosh, the Jotun's damage. That actually is really nice. Got another Jotun's proc. That's where I'm at my strongest, kind of. But I can't really walk through that, unfortunately. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's some interesting form. That god got banned. Otherwise, I would have played it. Alright, so the Persephone is going to be annoying, but very easy to deal with from the late game. You're doing the poke thing. As Persephone's do. I do the damage thing. I want to just jump in there, honestly. Hmm. 
No problem. Almost had something there. Got our, some nice pressure. And my ult will be up soon. So at the very least, we got for Suffolk's ult. And we have uh, our Shipper 1 red spawns. I'm kind of lowish, but I don't want to leave. Serb's ult is up. Hmm. I just want to do this and leave ASAP. Some dog and combo on it real fast. Nice. I want him to have that. Huh? This ult up? Dead. Let's go. I'm oom, um, otherwise I'd try and pressure more. Will I upgrade my ult there? Mm, yeah, I will. With the Serbs sucking me. And... Me not being able to channel my three entirely a lot of the time. Slash them getting out of range or jumping away. Aw, oh, for this. I could have given him that, actually. <laughs> I should have given him that. <laughs> Alright, we out. Uh, we got the Arc Druid. Very nice. Don't need erosion or anything, so... Fine on that front. Big damage on the salt, by the way. That's such a long stun, bro. Fantastic. Shall reduce his basic attack damage? Indeed. Indeed. A lot of the time, you can actually have your carry by it. Oh, that arc had just slapped him. God, I love this item. Aren't you it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the archers are smacking. I didn't want to go in there, man. That's all you, brother. That's all you, brother. If she jumps, then I can kill her. But not under her phoenix. Nice job. A little bit of healage. Defaulting to Horrific against them? Yeah, Horrific's good, too. You run into problems when you face things that have a lot of slow immunities, though, right? Like, if I'm against a Thanatos, probably not gonna be great. But I think a big poster child for, like, Shell versus Horrific is, like, a Mercury. But I'm definitely not buying it against him. You know? <laughs> Mercury. <laughs> Dr. Deep Throat. She's talking about me? Am I zooming? So, we just chilling. We got a big lead. Feeling really good. Can punish any... Any step up. As long as it's not near a wall. Oh, let's chill by this wall. Wait for my moment. Oh, might find something here. Can I chase that? I don't need to. Let me just hit this guy. Awkward. Nice. Arc Druid! <laughs> I would say we go fire, but might as well just take all the buffs. We can do fire at any point with a lead like this. <laughs> the Arc Druid is going hard, man. I love Arc Druid. Alright. I would say... This could be a little greedy, but... Is the key Taking a peek -see. Love that. I'll take it. <laughs> He'll get the other blue buff. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's freaking get it, dude. I love that. Come on, you're going crazy. So now it's just a race to get my tankiness stats online. Pop that. Let's sell it here. Um, hmm. What do I get? I can get Sunder for the tanks, or I can just keep trying to kill Persephone and get, uh, Horrific. We're getting Horrific. And a Sentry Ward. They have a ward. And I keep an eye on where Shock Path's here, since he does have that ward. Like, if he walks over my ward to fire, for example, I'll know that's where he's going. I don't think he did get that ward, but I'll probably end up placing my Sentry there, just for safety. Clear this way first. Okay. 
We out. I think I go Winged Blade next. Let me go crazy. It just feels really good to not have to buy cooldown for a long time. But I already have it. So my idea here is I'm going to blink and I horrific the perception. Or I can horrific these guys. Honestly, the shocks are looking juicy. Alright, he's out. Now we can go fire. For sharks. Jimmy, thanks for the T1-er. Would you like that to go towards any god request for the next game? Ooh, big heal. Looking juicy. We got ward coverage all over right now. Nice. Now we reset together. I'll grab a T1 wing blade and a 500 pot. In fact, I'm going to get beads upgrade. Or these two things. Two upgrades. That's how I'm going to spend my lead here. Just give myself a little extra advantage in the fights. Make us able to fight a little bit more often. And I'm just going to be looking straight for Persephone. You already know. Unless these tanks give me something. Because we do have a big lead. So we can kill them. But I am looking for a pick here. Over everything else. Persephone ideally. But I'll take this guy. What's hitting for 51? I actually don't even know what that is. Mm-hmm. All right, free Phoenix. We got our pick. My ult's up in 30. We can poke this as much as possible before he spawns. I need the jungle buff. That's our plan. Arc Druid. Alright, we poked as much as possible. Reset. Get buffs. Then we come back and end it. I'll pick that up. Split forces. Very nice. J Mash with the primer as well. Thank you, both of you guys. So much for the subs. Feels amazing, man. If you guys do have god requests, make sure to drop them. So we can get those done. Get the wing blade here, shall we? Or should I get oboe so we can kill the titan? No. <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> Smoking these guys. Oh yeah, we're going crazy. Vulcan or Susano. Ooh. Okay. I'll definitely be looking to play Vulcan. Love Vulcan. But if we end up not being like first pick or something, I could lock into Susano for sure. Susano, whoa. And Jay Mash, if you have a request as well, definitely fulfill that. So we could just all in the Titan here. I should have bought Fire Blink, I think. The end easier. Let's clear the wave first and then we'll just attack the Titan. Oh, or we can just fight them works. I have ult. Horrific. Doing a lot of damage to this titan. Nice. The heals are nice too. Kind of low-ish. Oh god. Oh god. Save your Agni. Save your Agni. No. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no. He's down. He did the dirt. All right. Well. What a game. I think that was a pre-made that we just beat. I've definitely seen those guys before and they're not slouches, so it is no small feat that they we are able to not only topple them, but topple them 11 kills to... It was basically zero. Come on, let's be honest. Like He, he didn't even die to anyone, man. It was, it was 11. Come on now. Come on now. 
Sheesh. And now we are catapulted up into the 2600s. 2634. You, you know, you, you can't help but feel a little bad when you're, you know, 3500 player playing on a smurf and you get a plus 100 against some guys and you know that they're going to have to earn that back. But it's the way she goes, isn't it? And I'm solo queuing, right? So you guys should be cleaning it up. GG's. Uh, Persephone went a book of thought build. That build is way too slow. How much damage did she do? She did a lot, actually. She did less than her me though. Gilgamesh. All right, we'll be putting that on the list. You're going Vulcan slash Usano and then Gilgamesh. 100% be doing that. Uh, GG's. The I'm always surprised by how much work the Arcuid Fury puts in in uh when i build it like immediately after like an axe when i build it early because it does damage 30 damage and then plus two per level so it actually scales like quite a bit with levels but like the, like my first arc druid proc i think was on the shock i just like whoop, like 150 or something i was like huh because <laughs> he was like a zero thieve stacks shock but we were able to showcase uh the advantage that you're able to get with a build like this, with like the Warriors Axe Jotuns, like especially like just like early on, like first team fight or first like actual fight we had, like with ultimates up, I was able to have such a greater impact than the shock was because he's a Thieves Bluestone shock. He's trying to <laughs> get some stacks online, get some tankiness. He's got only just a bit of power from the Bluestone, and the Bluestone damage isn't really that effective unless you're clearing a wave, right? That's what it mainly helps with. So. Yeah, like, I was just hitting too hard. The Kusenbo CC was immaculate. The Ogni was hitting, like, everything from what I saw. He was doing very well with the damage. And we were just able to overwhelm them early on and just able to translate it throughout the mid-game. I need and the jungle buff. I would say into the late game, but we didn't even make it there. We just steamrolled. But really, really amazing job by my teammates there. Like, the Kusenbo CC was so, so good. Like, the pushes were amazing. And the Ogni follow-up on top of it was really nice. Alario, thanks so much for the T1. If you've got a god request, make sure to drop it in the chat. If you guys are wondering what the heck I'm talking about, I am streaming this all live on Twitch, the solo queue to GM series. So if you've got a little bit of time, anytime uh, Monday through Friday, Eastern time, 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., uh, pop in the stream. Maybe I'll be playing some of this solo queue to rank chat series. Yeah, and you get god requests when you prime sub or gift a sub or sub or you know any a lot of different things a lot of different ways you can do it donations and i'll play god of your choice for the series and today's was guan yu so yeah the rest of that build is going to be uh wing blade because they've got like five billion slows on their team um i was looking for last item ooh some kind of tank item probably mantle it would be either mantle or spirit robe and because they don't really have like that much hard CC that's going to proc a spirit robe and the hard CC that they hard CC that they do have like I'm probably going to be ulting or chances are I could be ulting like I might not be getting a lot of value from a spirit robe proc so I definitely want to put a damage mitigation item at the end though cuz I want more survivability I have plenty of base damage to kill the Persephone with uh my build as it stands, just base damage, it just ends her life. Like, I don't even need the Jotuns to kill her if she goes uh, out of position. So, would we'll do that. And then I could probably trade my Jotuns for some tank killer item. Or I could just keep my build because it was actually feeling pretty good. I'd get my axe upgraded into a Sundering axe for sure. Yeah, maybe I would have kept the Jotuns. Because usually I sell the Jotuns late because a tankier item is nicer late. And also, with my warrior passive and other items I buy down the line after Jotuns, I've built enough CDR to get a 500 pot and have max CDR without Jotuns. So selling Jotuns becomes really nice. Usually, candidates for selling Jotuns are like Titan Spain. You want another damage item, uh, like Mantle or Spirit Robe. If you didn't get one or the other, um, you could get a lot of the other items I have already built. Like Just situational, pretty much what you can slam there, but... Titan's Bane is a big one for me, and Runeforged Hammer, if your god makes good use of it, is really good because you're replacing a glyph with another glyph, like Rune Breaking Hammer, for example. 
You could also get Pridwin, I guess, if you want uh, even more tankiness. But the Rune Breaking Hammer is very nice. Unfortunately, not the best Guan item. So maybe I would have sold Jotun's Vigor for like Pridwin late game after getting like Wing Blade and Spirit Robe, for example. Not sure. Don't know unless you get there. So GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Big juicy plus 100 once again. We're at Diamond 4, 26, 34. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I will see you in the next one.